very good evening guys in this session we will learn about the itgc like uh, what is itgc what is the purpose of itgc and uh, what are the domains belongs to the itgc but since itgc is a very big chapter so we will uh, try to understand itgc not in a single video but in a different different videos so let's start with the itgc uh, very basically so here itgc is nothing but our information technology general controls general control means whatever are the basic uh, controls applicable to any organization comes under the general controls like application controls like what are the basic controls during the implementation and the development of uh, app applications part second thing is the vulnerabilities and and the penetrating test uh, and testing vulnerabilities and uh, in short for vulnerabilities and penetrating test in short we can say as a vapt so vapt means what is the weakness of our organization we we have certain tools we have certain uh, uh, like say uh, apply applications through which we can identify the uh, vulnerabilities of our infrastructure and we try to uh implement very security to our applications part so this is our vapt vapt keeps our in uh, infrastructure very securely and uh, next is like uh, backup related and security incidents related and computer operations related so itgc is a very big chapter <clears throat> so information technology general controls dictates how technology is used in organization and uh, they prevent the data theft they means the technology technology prevent the organization from the data theft and prevent our organization from unauthorized access operational disruption and data breaches they influence every aspects of it every aspects means uh, earlier i had said say that applications controls vapt right data center and uh, infrastructure related control so so uh, itgc keeps our organization very safely in terms of every aspects of it from setting up new software to user account creations information technology general controls also impacts the tprm management like vendor management uh, and tprm is uh, uh, we can say as in vendor management both are same as new applications and and procurement must also meet the standards set by the controls having itgc in place ensure that our system are protected tested and implemented correctly and security and network updates happen at the right times now the question arising here that why itgc is required so very simply information technology general controls provides all the controls whatever are the controls necessary for our organization to keep our organization very healthy and resulting build up the trust of the clients or customers itgc is the combination of application controls data center controls backup related controls infra uh, infrastructure controls and vapt testings without itgc it's very difficult to keep the infra in infrastructure very healthy the spelling of healthy is wrong here Ap apologize for the same so itgc is a combination of application control application control means from the initiation of the applications like uh, like uh, uh, development of application and implementation and implementation of application till the final stage of the applications but whatever are the controls required to keep the applications very healthy and hosted in our uh, data center premises so till start from the end whatever are the application control are required comes into the itgc domain next is the data center controls data center controls means whatever is the health of our uh, network devices server devices security devices whatever the uh, assets like uh, router switches 
multiple zones, IPS firewall, whatever are the assets impl implemented in uh, our data centers and and whatever are the controls applicable for all those these are also the part of itgc part next is the backup related backup means the organization data we we generally took the backup and put it into the backup library and finally after the detention period we transfer all the all the library tapes to our customers so from starting to end whatever are the controls applicable is also comes under the ITGC domains infrastructure controls infrastructure means uh, actually infrastructure and data centers controls are very very similar however there is a bit difference in under infrastructure our data center uh, and our disaster recovery site and the bcp site all three sites will come however data center means only only the primary data center here next is the vulnerability and penetrating testing initially i had discussed about the vulnerability and the penetrating testing so uh, this is the general or we can say the basic uh, um, thoughts i just as explained and we will try to learn each and every controls or domains more deeply in our next video so what are the domains belongs to ITGC domains like first one is the access to program and the data management second is the SDLC SDLC is our system not system development lifecycle and third one is the computer operations so under uh, access to program or data our our logical and physical uh, uh, access comes in this part like what are the access what are the third party access what are the administrative access what are the normal user access and uh, and what are the policies belongs to the access management and uh, are the uh, are those access are reviewed properly in a frequent uh, over the time we can say second one is the sdlc part that is system development life cycle means uh, mm -hmm. from the uh, i mean from the development of the applications till the termination of the applications uh, including the change management part comes under the sdlc part third one is a computer operations under 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 computer op operations backup parts and uh, and the antiviruses but i mean what are the appliances and uh, and the agents um, in our computer comes under the computer operations part so uh, i will try to keep these topics more deeply with an very differentiative manner in my next video so stay with me and uh, Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe and, and hit the bell icon if you like such videos. If uh, guys, if you have any issues, any confusions, any doubts in my particular videos, you can uh, ask your questions in my comment box. Thank you so much.